Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me. I'm Julie DeMacos, also known as The Gardening Girl, and today we're gonna cover potato chitting. That's C-H-I-T. What is potato chitting? I'll cover it, I'll also show you how to do it, and I'll show you why I think it is a benefit as opposed to not chitting. So we are, it's time to start planting potatoes. I just received my orders. And prior to putting the potatoes in the soil, I like to chit them. Chitting is basically sprouting. It's a process of sprouting. Now it's unlike the, the potatoes that you see sprouted in a potato bag that you purchased at the grocery store and they have those long, lanky, very pale stems. You don't want that. You wanna have nice, compact, mini leaf type of chits. Okay, and what that does is it creates, uh, basically it starts the potatoes, starts the growing process, gives the potatoes a head start because when they're in the ground, there is a time period involved in getting that sprouting process initiated. So when you're sprouting them at home or chitting them, you are giving them the opportunity to do that inside before you plant them outdoors. And if you're not ready to plant your potatoes, for example, and they're gonna be in the house anyway, this way it is a way for them to, um, start to initiate growth while indoors yet healthy because had i put them in a dark drawer they would produce really long lanky shoots and those are weak and not great for planting out so i'm going to chit them for that purpose i want to create these small stocky little uh basically sprouts that have little green leaves and it's the start of a potato plant so that's why I chit them, to give them that head start. And so to chit them, there is a process involved. It's not just a matter of laying them out. You do need to have some light. And if it's in total darkness, then the potatoes will grow in search of light. They'll produce those long, lanky stems you see in a bag of potatoes you purchase at the grocery store. You don't want that. So you want to give them some light, yet you don't need to give them direct sunlight. So it's great because you don't need to put them under a grow light. You don't need to put them in a window, just in a place that has light and you need to set them up right. So I'm going to turn the camera. I've already done one variety. Variety, um, in a special box that I have and I'll show you what I use it's very flexible I'll talk about some boxes that you can use for chitting I'll show you how I do it so this is a vegetables box that I had saved uh, it was just some vegetables that I purchased as you can see here maybe it was asparagus or something but it's just a plastic box that is typically used um, in produce delivery and I really liked it because it's airy it's the right shape and size so this is what I use for potato chitting now you can use a wooden box you could use egg cartons they work really really well because they actually those wells hold up the potatoes now if you only have a, a little bit that you're chitting those egg boxes are fantastic uh, but if you have a lot you need a larger box you could also use a seed tray anything that really would be able to hold up your potatoes whatever you find on hand that works for you so this is my first batch i did this uh, this is norland potato and you can see that they're all set up right you can see that there's eyes the eyes are the little shoots the little sprouts that you see now we want to develop these sprouts so that they become leafy and strong if i leave them as is you can see they're white right now these are going to green up from the light because they were in the bag they had no chlorophyll they had no light on them so they're white but with some light so that's why we want to have some indirect sunlight some brightness um, these will then convert chlorophyll and turn green so we're going to start the next one now i keep it really really simple because of the numbers that i grow i'm growing five different varieties this year i want to just be able to stand them upright and my tag is basically this bag there's a there, the labels on it so these are norland here's another bag okay so there's my next one and this one here is citadel so it's a kilo of seed potatoes now people have asked me why do you use seed potatoes as opposed to just regular store-bought potatoes if you see them sprouting the reason why is first of all i prefer to buy organic so these are either certified organic or these are organically grown. Either way, this company doesn't spray. So that's number one, and that's why I prefer to use seed potatoes. Well, seed potatoes are clean stock. They don't have disease. There is no uh, chance of blight or scab. These are clean potatoes, disease-free, and that's why I prefer buying seed potatoes. They don't have to be organic seed potatoes, but seed potatoes will not have disease, and that's what's really, really important because we have enough troubles in the garden. We don't need to start off with seed stock that potentially might have disease adding more problems to the garden right so we try to keep it as clean as possible okay let's get a good one out so here's a potato you can see that this is too large of a shoot i'm going to leave it as is you have a choice to take that off you could leave it i'm going to leave it because it's still short any longer and i would take off all those shoots you want to look for the bum <laughs> the bum or the little root like the spot where it was connected to the mom to the mother plant 
So the potatoes, you know, there's the potato roots, and then along those roots, they release like these little tendrils and then they attach to the tip of the potato that grows underground. That's the side that you wanna put down, shoot side up. It's Sometimes it's hard to find, but in my case, I found it. It's like a dry little crusty nub. In my case, there it is. So you wanna set that down. You don't wanna lay it out like this because then when you plant it, you're gonna plant it upright. And if you're planting it this way, then you know the, the plant has to kind of fight to grow vertically. So the bum side down and just prop it up. So when I plant, when I have many going here, they all kind of support each other. If I only have one type, then an egg carton would work just fine. So there's my first one. Now this one here, I set aside because it's kind of hard to find. Sometimes, you know, you're looking at the potato and it's really hard to find any eyes or any kind of sprouts. See, this one here was a really good one. It, it, it's not even sprouted yet, but I found it. That's the dry spot. That was the bum, <laughs> I call it, that was attached to the mama plant. That side goes down, and then I'm gonna set it up ver vertically like this, okay? And now it will produce shoots upwards. Let's get another one. So, looking for the dry spot, there it is. You can feel it, it's kind of like a crusty old spot in there, even though I have a shoot down here. That's okay. Now, there's different potato growers out there. Ones that try to grow the largest potatoes, they would suggest taking this off and maybe leaving two or three at the top. I'm gonna leave it for now. I'll see how it goes once these sprout. If I find that there's like a consistent enough shoots at the top, I will remove this one later. But for now, I'm gonna leave it as is. Bums down here. I'm gonna set it up like this. Let's get another one. Okay, so this is why I'm running through this with you so it's easy for you to find to locate the bum. Sometimes the bum is just so hard to find. And I think, so this one here, I see shoots here, that's definitely the top, but that could also be the side if the bum was here. But I believe, see this one's so hard to find. I believe it's right here. It feels like that's the spot. That's the sweet spot. So I'm gonna set it up right. Okay, here's another one. Look at that big tall shoot. Now I could take that, I'm gonna take that one off. I find that this, it's just too long, it's too weak, it's not gonna really produce shoots. Leaves will end up at the tip, it's just too weak. You know, if you're chitting your potatoes, they're not gonna produce these things, they're gonna produce leafy growth. So I don't need this, I'm just gonna compost that bit. So now I still have these up here, and anyways, the one that I removed will grow back. And there's the dry spot that was attached to the mom. That goes down, let's get another one. Okay, here it is. There's the dry spot. There's the shoots, you see these are shorter. These are shorter, they're okay, I'm gonna leave them as is. They're not that weak just yet. See, there's even one over there. So depending on how much of a expert potato grower you are, you may dig these out. I've seen people online um, spoon out the eyes because they wanna make sure that the plant, the potato tuber only has like two at the most or one, but I'm gonna leave it. So there's the bum, I'm gonna set it upright like this. And I'm gonna continue. And then I'll speed up the film so you can watch me do all of them and see what it looks like when I'm done. And then I'll show you how I lay out the, uh, the paper to hold onto the row for the next one. Okay, so there you go. That's all of them. So they're all laid out. This is one kilo. And each one of these is a kilo, but you can see how the Norland has less, the uh, Citadel has more, but I believe that's because of the size of the Citadel is smaller, so they weigh a lot less. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my paper that it came in. Now I'm just using this because I have it and it's on hand, and it's easy, and it's you know a great way to reuse. All I'm gonna do is just like push the paper, making sure that my potatoes don't flop over. I'm just gonna set it like a little divider. 
and that's how I always do it and I find that to be just the easiest way at the end of this when it's time to plant them out what I do is I just compost this cardboard paper just a paper bag type material and uh and then that's it and that's how it looks like now I'm gonna continue and I'm gonna fill up the rest. And when I start, once I run out of space, which I will, I may grab an egg carton or not, or another box uh, to complete this. I hope that was helpful. And I hope you give potato chitting a try. And if you do currently chit your potatoes prior to planting, please let me know, leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you don't, that's great too. I mean, it's not a must have when you're planting potatoes, but I like to give my potatoes a head start. I'm not planting them out just yet anyway, so why not give them a couple weeks, maybe two to three weeks of a good head start so that they can get initiated in growth um, in the ground earlier than had I just waited three weeks, kept them in the bag, they start to sprout, then I have these long lanky sprouts on my potatoes that I'm gonna plant them out, worry about them breaking off. This is just so much easier, allows them a chance to breathe, allows them to not you know, get those leggy sprouts on them anyway. Also, I find that with this technique, it's really effective for early season potatoes. So if you have early crop potatoes, this is when you really wanna chit your potatoes because it does give them that head start. And it has been shown in research, and I have read about this, that if for early crop potatoes to chit them, you do end up getting a much earlier harvest than had you not chitted them first, those early crop potatoes would be ready two to three weeks later. So this way you get that head start. So I'm chitting them indoors two to three weeks, then I'm gonna plant them out. I'm gonna get that crop two to three weeks earlier had I not chitted them first. If you do give this a try, please let me know. If you like my video, please be sure to give me a like. As well, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of any upcoming videos. I will continue on my seed starting uh, series as well. Once I get started in the garden, I will start uh, filming more videos on how I plant out, how I transplant uh, so that it helps you as well in your gardening. Wishing you all a great day, everyone. Happy gardening. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.